My father grew up in Milwaukee, where my Zayda was the Rov, and he watched my Zayda spending a tremendous amount of time counseling people and guiding them. And in a sense, he was a therapist. My father grew up watching this, and this was something that he wanted to do. In, in the 1950s, there were many locations that had no chinuch. Milwaukee did not have their own day school at the time. And to relocate, where would he find the position as a rov? He then thought, wait a second, I can minister to people much the same way if I go into the field of psychiatry. It was a rarity that somebody from, from a mainstream from background, would be going to college at all. And there was initial resistance from many different pockets of the from community. Nothing really, really substantial until he published a book on domestic violence in the Orthodox community. That book actually led to death threats. The book was banned in many, many locations. Many of the same notable people who were part of that resistance later on called him that they have various psychiatric issues in their, in their own families, and they called to consult with him. Never did he say, you cursed me when I was in medical school, now you're coming to me for help. Never said it. He completed medical school in Milwaukee in 1959, did internship there for a year, and when he needed a residency for psychiatry, he only applied to places for residency that were cities that had a Jewish community with chinuch. And the choice that he made was Pittsburgh. He was one of the, one of the parents who jumped into the thick of things immediately, having connected with everybody from Rabbi Posner to Rabbi Darren. There were constant meetings that were taking place, meetings that addressed the financial issues of the school, the curriculum issues of the school, etc. As the faculty expanded and grew, everybody was tight and close with everybody else. He was always active in it. There is nothing more valuable to us in the entire world not our jobs, not our houses, not our cars, than our children. And we have the awesome obligation to give them the best opportunity for success and happiness in their lives. He was a trailblazer in terms of being somebody from the from community going into the mental health field. And it's a legacy. It's a legacy that we have to learn from. How do I want to be remembered? What do I want my children to remember? What do I want my grandchildren to remember? I may not be able to give them a great deal of money, but I may be able to give them a sense of pride that this was my father, this was my grandfather, this is what he stood for, this is what he taught.